Hey guys, Buffing Your Bad today, bringing you a video. And today, for our Modern Warfare 3 weapon conversion video, we are turning the Sidewinder or the 450 ACR into the Stinger handguard variant. So, the Stinger ACR 450 champion 450 Bushmaster. So, this is a pretty interesting variant of the, of the base weapon itself. Um, not a full on completely new weapon, but it is an interesting variant. So, we'll go ahead and jump into this and I'll show you guys a nice little build here that I think is one of the best builds I've discovered with this weapon. So, Go ahead and back it out. Here's the final design. Now, we know with Season 1, we're going to get an LMG conversion for this, which is going to be just crazy. So, I'm excited to see how they handle that with 450 Bushmaster with this cartridge. So, we'll go ahead, back out, build this weapon, show it off the fire range and how it handles in-game. So, back it out. That was our final design. What we're going to want here is the Sidewinder. This is a battle rifle. I not. I don't remember what, what level you unlock this weapon at, but you can see the, the uh, description of this weapon is a highly adaptable battle rifle. Chamber 450 Huntsman, which in real life is the 450 Bushmaster, that delivers very high damage at close to medium range. So we have the 450 Bushmaster ACR. We'll go ahead and select that. You can see I have a couple different builds here. Now you may have seen a similar version to this in the all ACR video. However, this is a different design that I think uh, is actually one of the best builds you can do for this weapon. So first off for the muzzle device, this is a lo large hunting caliber round. So we're going to want to mitigate recoil. So I don't recommend running this suppressed. You really want a muzzle device on this weapon. And for that, we're going to be running the Tempest. Uh, the Tempest GH50 is what we want. It's going to give you vertical and horizontal with the cons being aimed on sight speed and aiming idle stability. So you can see there, 18.5% gun kick, 10% reduction in horizontal, and 27 in vertical. This is going to have a good vertical and horizontal kick. So I, I personally, there may be better options, but this is the one I settled on for this weapon. So we'll go ahead and select the Tempest GH50. Now the handguard. This is an interesting, um, interesting one. So the base... ACR 450 Bushmaster would look something like this regardless. Now, if we're looking at this is ACR Adaptive Combat Rifle, you can obviously swap out handguards and barrels. This is what this weapon was designed for, um, which is really cool. And they included here a LVOA style handguard for this barrel. This is going to be the Tempest Predator Precision Barrel. This is available on a few of the ACR variants in game. However, here for this specific weapon, the Sidewinder, this barrel is going to have different stats for different weapons that it's available on for the ACR. So for this Sidewinder, this barrel does bullet velocity, recoil control, aim and stability, and gun kick. So you can see there, 10% for gun kick, 15 across the board for horizontal and vertical, and it's going to increase your damage range and bullet velocity. So this is a very good barrel here. Um, good option. The cons, again, the pros are outweighing the cons. You want to be able to control this thing because it does kick. So this is the best barrel. Now, with that barrel, um, we'll look more at that in a second. It's an LVOA style barrel. Let's get the final build and then I'll, I'll go into what that barrel is and what it's based off of and why it works with this weapon. Laser for this one, again, personal preference, just to kind of tag this thing out, you guys can go ahead and I'll show you one thing you could swap if you don't want a laser. However, the last 44, this is that green laser for aiming out of stability and aim down sight. I prefer this one. It just gives me really good eyes on target with that green laser. Helps me keep shots on target. Optic, again, the 450 Bushmaster is a hunting round. This was made for big game hunting. One shot, one kill. So it's classified here as a battle rifle. However, it's just an oversized intermediate cartridge, which you'll see it still fits, obviously, um, in an AR-15 style magazine, just like the 458 SOCOM. So here, we're going to be running the uh, the hybrid sight, the DR-482 uh, hybrid. Going to give us that 4.8 magnification with the toggle for a one and a half times with the EOTech there. Um, you can see the cons, very small glint, no tack stance, aim down sight, and aim and stability. So we'll go ahead and select that. Butt stock option, if you don't want a laser, you can run with the Regal Heavy Stock. That's gonna give you additional recoil control. However, it's not the right butt stock for an ACR, which is why I'm not using it on this build. Again, this is more of a, I mean, it, it's similar to an ACR stock um, from Magpul. However, it's more of a, of a SCAR uh, prototype stock. So that's the difference here. So what we're going to do is just run no stock and the no stock is still acceptable because this is the no stock is um, one of the variants on the Magpul Masada, which the ACR is derived from. So this stock works just fine. Rear grip, we're going to skip out on that. You can feel free to swap that out for a laser if you would like. Um, magazine, 
you can see here we have a base 30 round or actually a base 40 round stenag mag so we have a steel stenag bag this fits 20 rounds of the 450 bushmaster in here because it is a larger intermediate cartridge so you have a 10 round here which is available um which uh isn't right for the weapon but regardless here you have a 30 round p mag which is fitting 15 so the, the 10 round would only fit five i believe um, regardless the 15 round is a 30 round um p mag of 556 so it fits half of the 450 bushmaster in that and then you have a what appears to be probably a, a 60 round drum in real life only fitting 30 because it is a larger cartridge so they single stack in the the stenag bag just like the 458 socom rounds um for that m4 variant which we've gone over you can see here for the ammo types you can see the cart the caliber itself right it's a big it's a big caliber so you can see that caliber it's large you have a bunch of different nice little options here for this and then the underbarrel again personal preference a bipod, a bipod grip would be acceptable. This is classified here in game as a battle rifle, so we're going to use it as such. And I think the better recoil control option here um, is going to be to counteract that additional horizontal pull you're going to get is going to be, I definitely went past it, is going to be the same uh, under barrel. Here it is, the F-Tech Ripper. So this is a bottom ripper 2-1, aiming at a stability hip fire accuracy and recoil control you can see you're gonna get four percent across the board hip fire spread it's just a nice optic it gives it a little or a nice underbarrel it gives it a little bit extra balance so that's our final design let's go ahead and just throw a camo on there um again you can run the black you can run you can run the tan for the acr i'm gonna just be running um any one of these desert builds i think looks clean on this it's kind of like a mix between the uh the base tan for the acr and like a dirtier version of it so you can see that the clay looks great black is fine clay is awesome and the oliver my two favorites also the sand looks really nice as well so for this one we're just going to run a desert camo this is our final design for the stinger acr 450 now i say stinger because of the handguard now the handguard itself again it resembles an lboa style m4 handguard from the lboac lboaa um but there's other companies that make similar handguards with rail accessories for this. We have Matrix Charlie, Stinger Hawk, uh, Vela Trident, Fortress Knight, and Alpha Pitchfork makes very similar handguards to the LV OAC, which you've seen here. So the most similar one um, that this represents to me is a Stinger Hawk handguard. Um, now, again, this being an adaptive combat rifle ACR, it you there is no reason... Um, the 16 inch barrel option with the stinger hawk wouldn't wouldn't be accessible on this particular weapon for the handguard so at least that's what they're going with here in game now whether or not you could actually do that in real life i don't know why you wouldn't be able to um i'm sure there's a way to do that here in game the way they make it look it's, it's definitely not uh i think it would be a little bit more hard but in real life potentially regardless that's what they're going for here so this is what it represents it's mo not modeled obviously directly after the o lvoa but it looks to be almost a one for one, um, obviously with some because of a Stinger Hawk handguard. Now again, regular ACR, we have completely ambidextrous uh, fire controls and the charging handle there, left and right hand side, you see amb ambidextrous fire controls, or excuse me, charging handle. You have ambidextrous fire controls here. You have on the left and right hand side, you have the bolt release, the uh, mag release, and the safety select fire there on the left and the right hand side. And this is our stinger acr 450 or our stinger handguard stinger bushmaster acr chambered and 450 bushmaster go ahead and back out take this thing to the gun range go ahead and check it out here you can see the inspect looking really nice again i love this handguard i think it looks super clean on the weapon go ahead and let this thing rip now again you can see it's pretty accurate for the ranges that you're going to be engaging with this is i think going to sh share a similar role to, to the uh 458 um socom m4 except it's more more feasible i think because you have a larger round you have a larger magazine capacity slower rate of fire and it seems to be dealing more damage more accurately too so those ranges of 75 meters obviously full auto might be a little difficult 
as you can see. But these other medium ranges, we're going to drop people pretty easily. These longer ranges, maybe you want to switch to single fire. And you can see this thing thumps pretty fast. It has pretty hard. It has basically the same uh, recoil pattern, or at least rate of fire, as the Odin did in Modern Warfare 2019. Let's let this thing rip and not control it. So that's our 20 round going pretty much straight vertically. We have a little bit of left and right pull, not bad. Now I overcompensated there. Not bad, right? Those are all pretty accurate shots. Try it once more. So again, this is gonna serve a purpose in Warzone, I think. It's pretty accurate and it's gonna hit hard. So I've always been a proponent of these types of weapons. That's our Stinger ACR 450. Take a look quick at the camos. The sand the sand zone is a pretty good one. I like that one. The zombie camos, again, nothing special to write home about, but you have some really good options for the 800 plus camos in game. So jump into the gameplay here. Just running with this thing, trying to use it as we would a battle rifle. Again, it's, it's classified as a battle rifle, however, um, incorrectly so. Same as the 458 SOCOM and for the FTAC Recon, because it is, they're both intermediary, intermediate, larger intermediary cartridge uh, rounds, right? So the 458 also single stacks into a stenag bag, same as the 450 Bushmaster. Now, they both were made for different purposes with the... Here, the 450 Bushmaster round itself was designed for big game hunting specifically um, and designed to fit in AR-15, AR-10 pattern magazines. Um, the 458 SOCOM was designed mainly for, you know, to, to close quarters, stopping power um, in the Middle East, roadblocks, things like that to actually, you know, put vehicle, stop vehicles and drivers of vehicles, things like that for running roadblocks was really the main purpose of that. So they've served two different purposes, but they're both very equally comparable rounds uh, comparison wise and they look com comparable as well so they're both large rounds that are larger intermediate cartridge rounds and fit in the uh, single stack into the AR-15 Stenag style magazines or any AR-15 style magazine P mags things like that which you can see with the magazine options with this weapon now the AR or the ACR excuse me Again, we've covered this ACR. I did the all ACR video. I did a couple different ACR versions here, but this one here being the ACR Chamber 450 Bushmaster with the Stinger, um, with the Stinger Hawk handguard on there looks really clean. And again, the ACR Adaptive Combat Rifle, it makes sense at least in a game purposes. Like I said, how how realistic is it to put this type of handguard on the, on the ACR? Uh, you would need a spe more of a specialized handguard um, than specifically what Stinger Hawk and others uh, design, just because of the way the handguard fits on the weapon. However, I'm sure there's something out there more compatible with an ACR potentially, or um, someone would have created something potentially. But that's what they're going with here. But again, the ACR, the Adaptive Combat Rifle, is a modular assault rifle by Magpul Industries, originally the Magpul Masada. It was developed, um, design period in 2006. Production was 2010 through 2020. It is a semi-automatic rifle um, from Bushmaster, and you have the assault fully automatic select fire version from Remington. So the two versions there are no different really. Remington is designed was the version that had the military contracts, police, things like that. Law enforcement, they could produce a select fire version where Bushmaster produced the civilian version, which was just in single fire. So that's the only difference between those two because Bushmaster or Remington had worked with military contracts before, so they got that por portion of the weapon, and Bushmaster got the single-fire civilian version of the weapon. However, we'll get into that here in a minute, why this is a Bushmaster and not a Remington ACR. Because here in the service history, again, uh, it was did see service in the war in Afghanistan, right? That It was tested out there, different versions of the ACR, not the 450, though. Designer of the weapon was Magpul Industries. Originally, this design was the Magpul Masada. Magpul came up with it. They sold it uh, for production to Remington and Bushmaster. Um, again, production was 2010 through 2020. Remington takes the military bids, and police, and police, law enforcement, Bushmaster takes the civilian. 
many different variants for this weapon once we get into the mass overall is going to be anywhere from 7.9 to 9.8 pounds depending on the weapon and accessories uh, that can also vary the length overall depending on the barrel length depending on the stock options you're looking anywhere from like 25 and a half 25.8 to 35.5 inches um, again, that can also vary based on what kind of barrel lengths you're running. Uh, barrel length typically that we saw available would be from 8.25 all the way up to 18.5 um, in inches, as well as uh, different uh, 210 millimeters over 470 millimeters is what that equates to. Now the cartridges. Originally, this is available in 5.56, 5.45. However, Magpul sold this with the design itself of the Abdul Combat Rifle. You're supposed to easily be able to swap out uh, and barrel and other uh, components of the weapon to s easily swap calibers, barrels, all that stuff. So it's supposed to be available. Magpul's design was 556 by 45, 762 by 39. You had 6.8 Remington SPC, 450 Bushmaster, and 300 AAC Blackout was the original concept for this weapon. All those ended up coming to fruition. The size of 762 by 39 millimeter, I don't believe that was ever actually produced in any way. The action for the weapon is gas operated rotating bolt with a rate of fire of 650 to 700 rounds per minute. Muzzle velocity for this weapon with the 450 Bushmaster is going to be 1625 to 2105 feet per second, or 495 to 642 meters per second, with an effective fire range of this weapon being 500 to 600 meters, or 500 to 660 yards, with a feed system being the 30 round. M16 compatible than Ag Mag. In this case, we have the 40 round, uh, which is holding 20, I believe is what, what it is. Again, maybe a little bit of a mismatch there, depending. However, the sights, you have the Magpul M Plus integrated sights with the full length Picatinny rail for various optics and mounts. Now, um, the other thing here is that Remington was supposed to produce every variant of this weapon that uh, Magpul had had uh, designed, right, for them to produce. So there was supposed to be all those different calibers. However, that never happened. So uh, Bushmaster is the ones that ended up coming out with all the additional calibers for this weapon. So they ended up producing all the calibers minus 762 by 39. So you have the 556 by 45, you have the 6.8 Remington SPC, you have the 450 Bushmaster, and the 300 AAC Blackout, all Bushmaster, because Remington never did it, even though they said they would. So. You have all those versions that eventually were produced by Bushmaster here in the game, which is great. So this is the 450 Bushmaster version of the weapon with a Stinger Hawk style handguard. Really beautiful weapon. Let me know your thoughts down below. Again, I'm a big fan of the ACR. This is going to be a lot of fun moving into Warzone with this weapon. I'm excited to use this, and I love the way this handguard looks. I like how they really, um, you know, as many liberties as they may or may not have taken, I think this handguard design on this weapon looks really nice, and, and what you can do with this weapon, even though it's classified as a battle rifle which is really not what the cartridge is but they're using they did doing the same with the 458 socom i think it's gonna be a lot of fun to use um in warzone and it's a lot of fun to use in game i had a lot of good games in war mode and things like that with us so let me know your thoughts down below all links all that is in the description let me know your thoughts till next time this is buffner gaming with the stinger hawk 450 bushmaster acr till next time buffner gaming <laughs>